Welcome friends. We're having a little butter rum cake tonight. John Pearson here makes the best butter rum cake in the world. He makes it every Christmas. So we're over here on New Year's Eve enjoying the football game and a few cocktails. And we're going to show you how to make it. It's amazing. What do we start with, John? Why don't you walk me through yeah. the ingredients? Um, I start with a Betty Crocker butter yellow recipe. That's a go-to. Okay. Got, got to get that. And then you get one little packet of this. This is the instant jello vanilla flavor. Super easy. One little packet of that. With that, we're going to prepare in a few minutes the pan. You got to have rum, oil, eggs, and water. And so other than that, you're good to go. And then we'll, we'll kind of walk you through it. So we'll get it, get it going here a little bit and come back. All right, we're back here with John. The next step here is, what are we doing here? We're preparing the, the Bundt cake pan. Oh, beautiful. So this is a pat of butter, softened. Yeah. Yep. You don't have to be softened. It'll melt with your hand. Yep. I always like these little disposable gloves because it makes it easy. Yep. And then you just you just lather this sucker up. Lather it. Lather it up. Lather you gotta it. get it in every little crease on both sides. Beautiful. Work it and get it I all. I love, I love the glove. It, yep. just, it just makes it easy. So once you get it all, lathered and i'll show you in a second how we're just going to put a little flour in there i love it, it. love okay. it awesome okay john tell me here now you put yeah, hold on oh, all right. you yep all right so john is finished lathering with butter and then he gets that special flour yeah this is oh, uh this just comes in this little container and it's super fine okay so i found that it's uh it's just really easy to do this beautiful you, you kind of come you come over and you dust inside look at that technique He's gotta, been doing this a few hundred I, I, times. I make a few of these every now and then. <laughs> and then you, you gotta just kind of get the edges dusted. I'm sorry, I can't show you that. For, no, I'll show you in a second. Get it in there. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, so you don't need a ton because what happens is you just kind of knock it yep. and and then you roll it around. Yeah, we're you see I missed a little butter right there. Yep. That's, that's a, Is that, so you get a, oh, we're gonna be okay? We'll be okay. All right. We'll but I okay. get the excess flour out of there. So okay, it's beautiful. Prepared. Love it, love it. Good to go. Okay, now yeah, these pecans. I've chopped, I've chopped pecans already. Pre-chopped. Okay. And I, I don't do them uh, too too thick. I like okay. to get them pretty fine. Okay. Because when the cake's done, they're on the top of the cake. Yeah. When you cut the cake, if you have big pecans, it'll cut through the cake. Can't have that. So you we gotta can't have, have pretty that. fine. Yep. And then you can see you just do this little deal. Okay. Let me you, go in you, for you a good just, shot there. You just drizzle those on the oh. bottom like that, and you're good to go. Love that. Okay. All right, Johnny, we're back. Okay. What do we got? I put the um, Betty Crocker yep. rum mix in. I yep. put in the Jello packet in, so yep. those are good. Yep. I keep that aside because uh, it. I uh, I'll essentially take that those two combined in there, and I'll dig a little hole in oh, the middle. Oh, that's like that. a technique I okay. haven't used before. And then I'll Look I'll put that. my four eggs. You need four eggs for this. Okay. Very important. The technique. So is... while we're doing the four eggs. Um, I'm going to show you in a second what the uh, liquid that goes in. Okay. And uh, we'll cut and go to that. Okay. All right, here we go. We got the four eggs in there and that little bowl, beautiful bowl that Johnny put in there. So now we're going to do a little water. So this is half a cup of water. Half a cup of water. All right. Too much. I stay pretty close to the measurements, folks. I don't mess with Yeah, it. this is baking. This is not my forte. Yeah. All right, so that's a quarter cup of water. Quarter cup of oil, or half cup, sorry. I said quarter, half. So a half cup of water, half cup of oil, and then half cup of, the, you can use any rum, but trust me, this is Cap, the rum. The captain is the only the spice more, rum is captain. the way to go. Okay, all okay. right, love it. So got those going. Okay. How much of that? Holy half cow. Cup. Okay. So, so uh, we're gonna have a cup and a half of liquid. So it's oil, water, and rum all go yep. into the batter. Yep. Okay. All right. Okay. So here's our liquid. I set a four minute timer. When I pour this in, I basically set my timer four minutes. You got to blend this for four minutes. Seems like forever, but that's what you do. So I start it slow. I get it a little bit blended. I kind of get the liquids pulled together. And then I go around the edge and I get all the, all the flour off the edge. In, inside, just as soon as you do all the all sides, you can start seeing it start coming together. Beautiful. And then I crank it up. 
to pretty high, and then I, I just run it till my alarm goes off. So, so question, John, do you ever get tempted to put less oil and more Captain Morgan in it? Have you ever tried that? People like to do that in the sauce, not in the cake mix. <laughs> I just like to drink the Captain Morgan <laughs> All right. while I'm cooking. Okay. So I don't add it to this. Okay. So here we are at the two minute mark. Still going. <laughs> Don't short change this timer though. Four minutes. Gotta do it. Alright, so we're three seconds left. Look at this. Beautiful. Well, go. Good. So we have the oven preheated to 325. Probably should have showed that earlier. That's the first thing I do is turn that oven to 325. You want it nice. It's still it's doing through a second preheat, but it's uh if you want it at 325 when you put this in. We just finished our batter. I come in here and I just kind of clean the edges off, get it, uh, get it nice and ready to, ready to pour. Mm. And man, oh yeah, save a little on the uh, spatula oh, yeah. when you're done because this stuff is, is money. Money. So then you just come in here. Look at that. This is, this is professional. This guy is. Look at that. So I kind of, I'll cut it short uh, and then I'll get it back in here and stir okay. it back and get it all back to the center. Wipe the, the edges, detail. Wipe right the now. edges, get all the edges, get it back down. Yep. Get that. Good. Done this. Get, get this back Done here. This. You want it as much as you can. You know. If you drip it on the sides or in the center, yep, it will burn. It will mm. cook fast and burn. Okay. And so you so. want to try to keep it from hitting these edges or in that center spot. Okay. Um, just as a practical. Yeah. And then right here, I just go in, get the last few dollars. Okay. We get it all the way on the end and just get it in there. Yep. And then I'll let Andy. Well done. I'll let well Andy done. lick the <laughs> statue. <laughs> <laughs> all right here we go okay it's beautiful nothing look at that professional good to go yep okay pretty far in the back i have a gas oven yep kind of gotten used to it but i stick it pretty far in the back and then i set my timer to 55 minutes i'm used to my oven if you don't if you're worried about it go a little longer maybe go an hour go an hour and five minutes but we're going to work on the sauce about 45 minutes from now. Perfect. So about 10 minutes before it's ready, we'll start working on the sauce. Okay. So while we've been waiting, we've been hydrating. <laughs> yeah. Okay. This is uh, going well. Um, so what I've done is I stuck one full stick of butter yep. in a pan. I just let it sit on the oven while the oven was pre while the cake is cooking. So it's melted down a little bit. And what we're gonna do is one stick of butter, one cup of sugar, quarter cup of water, quarter cup of rum. That's all gonna go in together. Once I get this butter boiled, then I'll take you step by step through it. Good stuff. And so that's what's all right, so what are we doing Hola, here? Hola, amiga. All right, we're back. John's cooking the butter beautifully. He's cooking a little of that moisture out and oil. Right? Is that what you're doing here? I am. Trying to... So what I, my, my trick that I've learned over the years is uh, I get a little extra flavor in this by browning the butter. Mm. So I'm going to take this, it's going to start to brown here any second, but I'm taking this to a, a slight brown. You see it bubbling brown right there? Mm -hmm. See that it's starting to mix? Mm -hmm. So that's going to turn brown quickly. See it, yeah. see yeah. it coming yeah. out of there? Yeah. Watch that brown. So oh, yeah. see how that's all browning? All that's good stuff. That's just getting this caramel kind of color and a little bit of flavor. And then, so immediately, Andy, why don't you pour that in there? All right, a little bit, a little bit. Uh, a cup of sugar. sugar. Okay. Okay, just douse it in. All right, let's and do that. And then what I do is I take it off the heat a little bit so I don't burn the butter. And I just like, hold on, not yet. Oh yeah, you can put that in. We'll finish it off. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, so I'm just getting the butter saturated into the, oh, into the, um, Sugar, which is heaven. Yep. If you could smell that, yep. it would be like happy camper. Yep. Happy camper. So while it's still off the heat, 
I then, Andy, throw this to all right. that little bag away. What are we doing here? What's that? That's the rum. Okay. So the rum, oh, don't, don't drink it. Stop it. All right. So I'm, I'm putting the rum in and I'm letting that, because that's going to cool it a little bit immediately. And so while that's kind of stirring in, I'll put it back on the heat, directly on the heat. And then, and, and I always stir, I learned, stir with the, the scupper out. Okay. Because when it catches it, it won't knock it into you. If you stir like this, it'll splash on you. Okay. So it'll stir with you. your, your wood spoon out. Yep. And then it's as that's, seconds. as that's starting to go, now here you go, Andy, put that right. in there. That's a little bit of water. Quarter cup of water. Now this is where people like to fudge and they'll put more rum than, I, I don't think you need it. I mean, personally, I think that, um, I think the combo is right. It's uh, yeah, other people say like, oh gosh, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna add more rum because we love rum. Well, trust me, you don't need more rum. It's delicious. If you want more rum, make yourself a shot and drink it. Okay, we can do that. Too. You can do that. You don't need it in your cake. So we're gonna let that simmer and boil for about two minutes. And by then the cake's gonna be uh, ready. Oh, we forgot to tell you. We set a timer for 10 minutes before our cake was done. So at 45 minutes, we set a timer to start this. So any second, the timer's gonna go off for the cake. And then we're gonna just let this bubble for the extra couple minutes. Cake's gonna cool for maybe two minutes. And then we'll show you what we do next. Love it. Tonight we're having a little tenderloin. It's New Year's Eve. Having a little tenderloin with beautiful cake. And we have a tenderloin. What do we got? We, we did a little sous vide. I, I had this um, with a, a little oil and rosemary and uh, my favorite seasonings. I had that in this morning. I, I marinated that in the fridge and I switched it over to a vacuum seal, sealed it, put it in 140, 135 is medium rare, I like okay. 140. And then when we're done, I've got this little pot over here that I've been simmering that's got garlic and a little sage and black peppers. And when I put it on the grill, I'm gonna just lather it and let the grill just sear the hell out of it with all those good flavors. And then that's coming up. Let's take a look at that. So you hear the alarm going off? That's our uh, cake ready. So our cake's ready and you can see our, look at this. This is our, our, our mixture here. Every time you stir it, it does this, it does the foaming. And then when it's done, as it cools, it turns just turns into that caramel. I'll show you that in a second. Look at it, it's starting to do it now. Mm -hmm. Every time I stir it, you get more bubbles. Oh yeah. Uh, so our cake is ready. <laughs> While we wait, we hydrate, as Cracker says. <laughs> Aging Cracker. Mm. So, okay. 325, looking in here. Oh yeah, that. looking good. Oh my, here it is. Look at that. Perfection. Come out, came out nicely. Set that here. I don't bump it. You know all that bacon stuff. You try not to try not to shock it. Okay, that's good to go. Now. Now you can just let this go. This is just simmering. Okay. And so I I usually like to let this sit for like two minutes. If you okay. You can almost, as you watch it, you can watch it contract a little bit. Yep. And I don't like to put it in like immediately. Just give me two minutes. Okay. Let it kind of contract a little bit. But this you let keep going at this low temp. Yeah, you it, like it's, doing that. it's fine to do that. And you can see when I pull it out, like you don't want it to burn. But watch how it foams. Now watch this as it cools right here. Watch how this is gonna, watch how this is gonna cook down, watch. All those bubbles are gonna come out. They're getting close, they're getting close, they're getting close. Look at this, uh, stir them up a little bit, foams a little bit, and then that's magic. That is good stuff right there. So John, I would drink how many that. of these? I would drink that if how, I could. <laughs> how many do you cook during Christmas? I usually how cook um, between 10 and 15. Okay. And so I'll have two or three going at the same time. And so the, the key for me is uh, is like um, uh, trying to manage. I only have three of these. I need to get maybe one more. Yep. But the hardest part is timing yeah. this with that 
Because usually when I have two cakes going, I'm within 15 minutes of the next cake being ready, which means I need to have this fired up quickly. Yep. So I gotta have multiple going, but come over here, we'll show you. This is cooled down enough. And you see how it's drawn a little bit away from the sides? So it's kind of pulled in a little bit. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go left-handed, or Andy, you wanna do this from your side, but what we're doing is we're basically just, we're the first few, I will just take and drizzle on the top and get in the center and you see how it kind of bubbles right there. Mm -hmm. And I'll just get the first few right on the inside. I, I usually put a little piece of tin foil underneath mm -hmm. because this can in overflow. It, yeah, in case it drops through. Yeah, but we'll be a little careful here, but you can see how it's bullying in there. But once I get that first grouping in, I'll just grab the back and I'll just watch it go around the edges. And you can see the edges foam up from the hot pan. Mm -hmm. Now, who showed you how to make this originally? Is this something you did? You know, I, I kind of, it was a family deal. We used to love rum cake in the South. Yeah. And I, it was one of my favorites. And I got my mom to send me the recipe. And then I just kind of perfected it on my own. Because it takes a little while to understand how long you put it in. Like, yep. if you put this on and you all of a sudden see it just starting to shrink yep you haven't cooked the cake long enough okay so the cake needed to cook longer so when you do that and it's not like just spalling on you that means you've done it right okay. so that cake is holding is holding firm the inside's good uh i've done i've done plenty of them you, where i you poured it in up. and i'm like son you, of a gun you put it just, in at 55 minutes yeah just, and you I, know you know your oven right i know my oven and, and I could have gone another five, 10 minutes. It doesn't hurt it at all okay. to go a little longer. Okay. All it does is keep, because it's such a moist cake right. anyway. Yeah. And then you're putting all this, yeah, yeah. you know, yeah, love yeah. in it. Uh, yeah, yeah. So that now we'll take that off and let it cool. And what I'll do is 20 minutes max, because once it cools, it'll start sticking to the pan. So you want it, the pan to still be warm before you flip it. So 20 minutes is about my, my time frame before I will flip it over and we'll show you that when we're done. All right. A little hot from cooking some tenderloin out on the grill. We're good. This thing's been sitting for about 20 minutes. You don't want it, you don't want it to uh, cool completely in there because it'll get stuck. But you can take this now and do that and let it Hold, and there's a chance, yes it did. So you can feel it right right off the bat, it's jiggling, it's ready to go, and it is money. Mm. Let's get it close on that. Look at that goodness. Oh my. That's what we're talking about. Should we eat dessert first? Maybe, maybe. Oh, yes, John. Beautiful, John, appreciate Show it. Show the tenderloin. Oh, 